Hi, I'm Sharon Bill. Welcome to my Theory Tuition series where I'm working with you through each of the ABRSM theory grades. There are lots of resources available to help you on my website. If you visit SharonBill.com, you'll find some free PDF information sheets and you can download those in US letter or A4 and they accompany each step of this series. You'll also find a page there with links to all of my YouTube video tutorials and you can also find information about the books that I have available. I've written an exam technique guide, how to take your ABRSM music theory exam. It's full of hints and tips on how to best prepare for your exam and also how to make the best use of your time on exam day when you're actually working through your exam paper. So if you go to SharonBill.com you'll find it all there. If you can give me a like that would be really super and please do subscribe to my channel to keep updated. And so now we're going to continue with the past papers from 2014, working on Grade 3, Paper A. And we're now going to look at the next question, Question 4. So turn with me to page 3, and we'll have a look at Question 4 next. And so as I always say, it's always better to have a go of this. Uh, always work in pencil, and then you can just rub out any mistakes. It doesn't matter if you go wrong. And you will always learn better by making those mistakes. So I'm hoping you've had a go of this first. And now we'll check through this together. So we're going to have a look at question four, which is addressing some scales. Now, I always find it helpful before I start anything to just quickly write out my circle of fifths, the list of scales in all the major and minor related keys. If you're not sure how to do that, I've done a video on how to work out the circle of fifths and you'll find the link to that in the cards and in the description to help you to figure that out. And so if you've done that, you've done all of the thinking already. So let's have a look at this together. We've got to do a few things here. We need to add the correct clef and then we need to add any sharp or flat signs to make the scale of C-sharp harmonic minor. Don't use a key signature, just use um, accidentals. Now, of course, C-sharp harmonic minor must begin and end on C-sharp. And for that to be the case, for this to be C, it needs to be bass clef. And so that's the first part quickly dealt with. Now then, uh, C-sharp harmonic minor is related to E major, which has a key signature of F, C, G, D-sharps. And so we need to first of all put those in as accidentals. Now if you're not sure about the notes in the bass clef easily, it depends what instrument you play. If you're not terribly familiar with that, why not make life easy and just write the letter names. Remember we're descending, so I'm going to count upwards, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. You can always rub that out afterwards if that's not your clef of choice. So let's go through this in order. F sharps, remember the sharp comes before the note, you need to know before you play it. C sharps, we need to do that twice because it begins and ends on C sharps. G sharps and D sharps. So that's our key signature taken care of. Now to make it harmonic minor, if you remember, the harmonic minor scale has the seventh degree raised. So remember we're descending, so this is the eighth, this is the seventh, and so the B must become B sharp to raise that seventh. And that's our harmonic minor scale completed. So the next one we're asked to do, Using semi-briefs or whole notes, this means we don't have to bother with stems. We need to write one octave ascending, so we're going up of the scale of E flat major. We need to do the key signature. So let's do that straight away. E flat major has a key signature of B flats, E flats, and A flats, positioning those carefully in the treble clef place. And so we're beginning on E, of course it's E flat, but now the key signature does that job for you. So there, now scale means step, literally translated, so we're just going line, space, line, space, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's our octave, our key signature does the job, and in a major key, that's job done. There's E flat major. So we'll move straight on to the next question. 
So question five again asks us to look at key signatures. We're looking at major and minor key signatures. So yet again, if you've done your circle of fifths, quickly write that down. It's worth a few minutes before you start any exam paper. Then you've done all of that thinking straight away. Um, it's a really, really valuable skill to just practice, to just practice whipping down all of those scales in a list. And so we've got a few things to do here. We need to write the key signature and then we need to write the tonic triad. So the key signature of B minor, B minor is related to D major and has a key signature of F sharps and C sharps. We're in the treble class, so just position those carefully. And then the tonic triad begins on B, that's our tonic. And we want the first, second, the third, fourth, fifth. And when we're counting in one, three, five, if it's a line that you're beginning on, it's line, 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 because the two and the four are the spaces. One, two, three, four, five. If you're beginning on a space, it's just space, space, space. So that's easy peasy. So let's move on. E major, we're in the bass clef now. E major has a key signature of four sharps. So we want F, C, G, D. And then we need to find note E in the bass clef. All cows eat. First, third, fifth. There's our tonic triad. A flat major has a key signature of B flats, E flats, A flats and D flats. So now we need to find note A. The spacey spell face, F A. First, third, fifth. There we go. So G minor is related to B flat major, so we need a key signature of B flats and E flats in the bass clef. And then note G is our tonic, because we're in G minor, first, third, fifth, there's our tonic triad. A major has a key signature of three sharps, F, C, G. There's lots of ways of remembering this. Um, Something about Father Charles goes down. Uh, there's lots of poems or Father Christmas, something or other. I was always taught five cats go down an empty barrel. However, whatever it takes to help you to remember that. So F, C, G. And then if you remember the space is all cows eat grass. So there's our A. First, third, fifth. And that's that question soon completed. That's the end of that question. We'll have a look at the next question in the next video. I do hope that's been helpful to you. I hope that you're enjoying it. I'm certainly enjoying working through it with you. If that's the case, please give me a like. That would be super. And please do subscribe to my channel to keep updated. There's lots more in store. Please also do visit SharonBill.com and make use of all of the resource and information that's available to help you there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.